Now the next transformation is to draw the graph of functions which are of the form fx equals either maximum or minimum of some other function gt when t lies between a and x when x lies between a and b. So this is generally not the way with which we represent our function but then there may be some problems where a function is expressed in terms of another function. Now let us take an example. Now the function fx is defined as maximum of under root t when t lies between 0 and x when x lies between a and b. So it simply means at any point x between a and b t can take any value between 0 and x and in this interval we have to find the maximum value of under root t and then that value is assigned to this fx. Now let us take a as 0 and b as infinite. So I'll draw the graph of under root of t. Now the definition says at any point between 0 and infinite. So maybe I'll choose a point. So this point it is x. t lies between 0 and x. So my t it can take any value from 0 to x and in this interval I have to find the maximum value of under root t. Now in this interval it is an increasing function. So the maximum value of under root t will be at the end of this interval. So that means at this point the maximum value of under root t is under root of x. If I choose another point also maybe now I say this is your x. Now again here my t it will lie between 0 and x. Now in this interval again it is an increasing function so again its maximum value will be at x so again its maximum value will be root x for the interval where t belongs to 0 to x the maximum value of under root t will be under root of x so in this case fx is under root of x. Now what if I change this question so rather than taking it maximum of under root t now I'll take it as minimum of under root t. Now again I'll choose any point x. Now when t lies between 0 to x the minimum value of under root x is 0. Again if I'll choose another point x so again in this interval the minimum value of under root x is 0. So that means the minimum value of under root x in any interval will be 0. So this function will be a constant function and its value will be 0 for all x belongs to 0 to infinite. So in case of this answer will be fx is equal to 0 when x is greater than or equal to 0. I'll take up another example. Now say for example a function is defined as minimum of e to the power minus t when t lies between 0 and x and when x lies between 0 and infinite. So I'll draw the graph of e to the power minus t from 0 to infinite. So that is the graph of e to the power minus t. Now if I choose any point x, the value of t will lie between 0 to x. Now in this interval, I need to find the minimum value of e to the power minus t. Now because it is a decreasing function, the minimum value of e to the power minus t will lie at x. So here minimum value will be e to the power minus x. Now again if I choose another value of x, so again in this interval from 0 to t, the function decreases. Now again the minimum value of e to the power minus t will lie at x. So again it will be e to the power minus x. So in this case, function fx will simply be e to the power minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0. Now what if again I change it to maximum of e to the power minus t. Now if I change the function to maximum of e to the power minus t now at any point x in the interval 0 to x the maximum value of this function is 1. So in the other interval also the maximum value of e to the power minus t is 1. So in any interval the maximum value of this function will be at 1. So in that case, it will be a constant function. So answer to this question will be fx equals 1 when x is greater than or equal to 0. Now we have discussed two simple cases when the function is either always increasing or always decreasing.
In other cases, the function may be increasing as well as decreasing. Now, suppose I'm given the graph of some function gx and I need to draw the graph of some function fx, which is defined as maximum of gt when t lies between 0 and x, when x lies between 0 and infinite. So that means at any point x, I need to find the maximum value of gt in the interval 0 to a. Now between 0 and a, it is an increasing function. So maximum value of gt will occur at x. So in that case, the function fx will be same as gx. Now when x lies between a and b, now in the interval 0 to b, the maximum value of this function will be at a. So in that case, it will be a constant function. Now again between b and c, it is an increasing function. So in the interval 0 to c, the maximum value of this function will occur at x. Now again between c and d, if I choose any point x, then in the interval 0 to x, the maximum value will be at c. So then again between c and d, it will be a constant function. And after d, it again is an increasing function. So my fx will be same as gx. Now in this case, I'm given the graph of gx and a function fx is defined as minimum of gt when t lies between 0 to x. So when x lies between 0 and a, it is a decreasing function. So minimum value of this function will lie at x itself. So in that case, fx is same as gx. Now when x lies between a and b, the minimum value of this function will be at a itself. So then it will be a constant function. Between b and c, the function again decreases. So again, fx is same as gx. And then between c and d, again, the minimum value will be at c. So it will be a constant function. And after d, again, the function will be a decreasing function. So then again, fx is same as gx. So that is the graph of fx. So let us take an example. Now, suppose I'm given a function gx, which is x square when x lies between 0 and 1, mod of x minus 2 when x lies between 1 and 4, and 6 minus x when x is greater than or equal to 4. Now, I need to draw the graph of fx, which is maximum of gt when t lies between 0 and x, when x lies between 0 to infinite. So I'll draw the graph of gx. Now, between 0 and 1, it is an increasing function. So fx will be same as gx between 1 and this point of intersection. So I'll find out this point of intersection. Between 1 and 3, it will be a constant function. Then from 3 to 4, again, it's an increasing function. So again, it will be same as gx. And then from 4 to infinite, the maximum value is 2. So again, it will be a constant function. So I can write this function fx as x square when x lies between 0 and 1, 1, when x lies between 1 and 3, 